So we have some folks in the audience who have stood at this podium who have led this association and we want to recognize them. We have three past presidents in the audience. Uh, we have Brian Adams from Aurelia. Hey, Brian. We have Sheila McKay, who saw the light from Sharon. in Saskatchewan. Sharon. Sorry, Sharon. Sh sorry, Sharon, and came back to Ontario. Welcome back. <laughs> and we have Anne Sawarna. Anne, you're in the audience somewhere. I can't see you. Hello, Anne. Hello. Anne Sawarna. We also have a couple of folks from the board who weren't here when we first started, Shira being one of them, who is our student director. Welcome, Shira. Uh, Mary Kay held the position of Vice President of Branch Affairs, uh, and we are we were so thrilled to work with her. We're sorry to see her go, but we're supportive. You know that thing that social workers do, freedom of choice, self-actualization, it's all good. Uh, we wish we could have held on to her longer, but we understand bigger fish to fry. You, you need to move on and, and uh, spread your wings through retirement, no less. It's just amazing. It just keeps on going. So for all of those contributions and your collegiality, uh, collegiality and your, your counsel, we were delighted to have you. Thank, Thank you very, you. very much. We're going to present this to you. So what we have is the certificate of appreciation and engraved pen uh, so that Mary Kay remembers that we were so, so appreciative of her volunteerism, of her time on the board, and of her leadership. Thank, Thank you, you very, very, much. very, very much. Now, did you want to say any words, Mary Kay? You don't have to, but you're welcome to. I don't no. Want to be high okay, we don't have time. Isn't that great? <laughs> That's a good out. How am I doing? Okay. Yeah, okay. great. Okay. So next, we'd like to take some time and recognize another outgoing board member, Karen Nelson. Karen, come on up, please. Karen has been on the board uh, for a good number of years, uh, and I'm going to read a bit of a bio, so bear with me because I don't want to miss anything. Six long years. Six. <laughs> But delightful years, <laughs> delightful years. Karen is leaving us as the Vice President of Social and Professional Advocacy. Uh, Karen was previously Vice President of Membership Services from 2006 to 2010 and served in her current role from 2010 to 2013. So she's been on the executive really seven years. She says six, but we needed her an extra year and God love her, she said yes. And we're beholden. Uh, we are, I mean, I just, I'm going to miss Karen a great deal. She is a, a very wise and knowledgeable social worker, brings both a national, international, and uh, provincial scope, uh, as well as uh, is, is uh, a leader in her own, uh, in her own right in Ottawa, uh, and has been a tremendous advisor to the board and uh, a great to help guide the, the association through some pretty tumultuous uh, political and economic climates in the last uh, four to five years. So we will miss that, but we are grateful for it. Uh, and we're going to be giving Karen a couple of th a couple of things here, just a couple. Uh, so we're first of all going to be giving Karen a certificate of appreciation for your contributions and uh, just recognition of the value that you've provided over seven years. Thank you for that. And we're giving her a display stand. <laughs> really, the highlight. And yes, we easy to open. And we're also happy to present uh, Karen with this, and we'll just uh, let her reveal it. And the stand. You're going to have to hold me here. Happy yeah, to hold sure. the box. No happy problem. to hold the box. In it's fact, delicate. Yeah. It's yes, delicate. Yeah. Oh, dear. Okay. I'll have to get a special seat for it on Porter on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, it's beautiful. Wait till you see this, folks. Oh, it's just gorgeous. So on a display stand that says Karen Nelson in deep appreciation, OASW Executive 2006 to 2013. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very nice. There we go. Okay, I just I have to say something because uh, I have to explain 
how I came to be on the board of OASW, because most people think it's a very arduous task to take on, and actually, these gals that are here make you look so good, and it's so effortless. You just have to be able to step up and do the things that they direct you to do, and all is going to go well. So I really want to thank Joe. If it wasn't for the efforts and the hard work that Joan and Rita and Jillian do behind the scenes, I could never have taken this on in addition to what I, I do in my day my day job. So I want to share that with you because for those of you who think you're too busy, have too much on your plate, can't possibly do it, they will make it possible for you. So, you know, feel empowered to take that on. I also have to thank, or not thank, my dear friend and colleague at the back, Anne Sawarna, because <laughs> Anne is the reason I am on the board of OASW. She cajoled, encouraged, supported, and uh, strong-armed me into it. And I have to say thank you because it's been nothing but delightful and a privilege and I owe it all to you, Anne, for inviting me to do this. So thank you. And thank you very much. Uh, as well as outgoing executive members, we also have a couple of outgoing board members. Uh, uh, we have Monica Auerbach, who is not able to be here today, but I wanted to recognize Monica. Uh, Monica was the Central Ontario Regional Director from 2010 to 2013. Uh, for those of you who may not know, the Central Ontario Region is our largest uh, uh, membership region. It has the highest density of membership. And uh, Monica, along with Rashad, have uh, been doing a wonderful job of representing uh, the numerous members who come from, uh, from this part of the province. Uh, Monica sends her regrets due to her brother's wedding. So, you know, we thought we, thought we, we would be forgiving. We, we took a moment, but we're very forgiving, and we hope she's having a great time. Uh, so we're going to miss Monica, because again, another leader in our profession, and we are blessed with leaders in our profession, uh, who give their, more of their time. Uh, by being on the board and uh, it is the wisdom of leading an organization it is the wisdom of understanding this thing called governance it's the wisdom of understanding the political climate that is of value at the board level because that's our job to look at the strategic imperatives for the for the association and Monica was very uh, uh, was very helpful and her, her uh, perspectives were most valued uh, at the board table so we will miss her and we will uh, recognize that with her at another time but we certainly wanted to recognize it here at the agency we also have another uh, a, a, a board member who's vacating her position as a board member, but she's not totally gone. Kathy Farrell. Kathy, come on up. <laughs> Kathy has been the National Regional Director from 2010 to 2013. Uh, she will now be taking on an executive position. So she's moving from uh, the broad board table to the, uh, to the executive uh, uh, table. Uh, and now we'll be taking on the position of VP, Bran uh, VP Branch Affairs, being vacated by Mary Kay Lucier. So thank you for your time on the board. We know we'll still have your counsel and wisdom, just in a different light. So thank you. So and a picture. A, a picture, a photo op for Kathy over oh, there, right? Oh, That's right. Uh, however, this is a certificate of appreciation for Kathy's time as a board member representing the northern part of the province. So there you go. Thank you. Did you want to say anything? You don't have okay. So that's the internal stuff, and now we're looking at uh, the the broad membership stuff. And the broad membership stuff is really uh, uh, appropriately named. Uh, because it's about our inspirational leaders and we have three inspirational leaders here and it's always with great pride in, in, within the, uh, uh, the annual meeting that we, uh, we speak to this particular award. It's a regular feature of Social Work Week every year and has been uh, the identification and interview, interviewing and profiling of inspirational leaders on the association's website. The individuals selected represent a positive role model to social workers and social work students and exemplify OASW's theme for Social Work Week. The theme for Social Work Week this year was Restoring Hope, the Power of Social Work. The award recipients' profiles were featured on the association's website, in the OASW e-bulletin, and in the OASW news magazine. So if by some slight chance you haven't seen any of those, please go back and review. Because the work of these magnificent people who are about to, uh, to honor uh, is truly inspirational. You'll understand why this award is being presented. So first and foremost, we have Karen Nelson. Karen Nelson 
And let's take a moment to applaud because I think it's important. So Karen Nelson, apart from donating seven years of her time on the board of OASW, is the chief of social work at the Ottawa Hospital, where she is also director of spiritual care. She is, as well, Karen is an adjunct, so she's formulating fertile minds. She's an adjunct research professor at Carleton University School of Social Work. So it is with great, great pleasure and delight that we present an inspirational leader award to Karen Nelson. Our second recipient of an Inspirational Leader Award is Marco Posadas. Marco. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Congratulations. Thank you. So Marco and I literally ran into each other on the way coming in as I was trying to figure out the door. Uh, so it's really nice to meet you up close and personal like this. It's great. Marco. Uh, is a bathhouse counselor and program coordinator at the AIDS Committee of Toronto, where he has developed and implemented a community-based mental health outreach program called Towel Talk, funded by the Ministry of Health and Long-Term Care, no less. Way to go. <laughs> and is part of a research study by Mount Sinai Hospital in Toronto. It is our pleasure to, to present Marco with the inspirational award. Yeah, no, we can make the best of it. The third recipient of our Inspirational Leader Award is Nassim Banu Ahmed. Nassim, are you here? Uh, no, she, no she, that's what you're trying to tell me? Okay. Yeah. She's, she's actually receiving the... Yes, I just didn't know if it was at the same time or yeah. earlier yeah. this morning. Yeah. Or, so here's why, why Nassim is not here. So, is, so she is retired after 30 years in the rehabilitation field in the Niagara region and was instrumental in developing new community services. She continues to work tirelessly as a social worker to inspire hope in both her birth country of Bangladesh and in her adopted country of Canada. Today, uh, Nasim is also receiving in Niagara Falls uh, a, um, the Ontario Volunteer Service Award. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking from two sheets. Uh, which is presented by the Ministry of Citizenship and Immigration. So evidently a much honored and very busy woman who happens to be a member of our profession. So uh, we will present uh, Nassim with this award on your behalf uh, when, she, uh, when she finishes receiving her other awards. So she's having a good day. She's having a very, very good day.